How are you guys? Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. And you guys? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm glad to see several of you here early. It's Monday. It's our last week. Um, I hope everything is, is in order. I saw many, I saw several of you working in the platform over the weekend. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yes, I actually finished mine, coach. Hey, hey that's great, Jose. Me too. Woo. I finished too. Hey, Miriam, great to hear that. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I got 100. <laughs> I know why. I know why you got 100. Uh huh, Miriam. <laughs> I, I couldn't have done it without. Uh, all the group though they they were a great help that's, you know this is this they are they are such a good group i'm glad to hear that that's the idea to work together that's the, the function or the purpose of being together in a team and are you yeah. going to continue yeah. with the same group this the time me, it sure. took me uh, more time to do it yeah supposedly oscar we actually they they informed me today um that I, I guess because it's the end of the year, they're going. You have to have make sure you have everything ready for the registration and the uh, inscription. That um, because we begin classes on Monday, there will be no vacation. There will be no week, nothing to to finish off. So we finish Thursday and we continue again on Monday. So do really? I, no really, vacations. No, no, no. So I tell you because um, you, uh, I know some of you need a little bit of warning, a little bit of things to get the paperwork from human resource or documents or whatever. So that way you make sure everything is in order because we begin on Monday. Uh, Coach, uh, see, I, I have some issues with like, uh, I'm not able to fill, fill up the, the form they send to me. Uh, through the phone, mm -hmm. and um, so someone someone have to fill it out for me. So we have to go through all that process again. You know, I I believe you do, but you can check with Maria or Medium uh, or um, Oscar even because they this is the second time. So I know they've done it before. Um, can anybody help Jose? Do you have to do all of the paperwork again, or is there something different or? I don't know. I don't know how is the entire process. Can anybody? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry because um, the school does it for us. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't know. know. If, okay, uh -huh, so we, we just we just move on to the next. Uh, no, 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 not the school. Uh, not the school Inglés Cooperativa. The school where they work at, where Maria and, and Miriam <laughs> work at. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I that see. Way, that way, you, that way, you don't get confused. No, 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 not not, not the school. So they, they have like a like a beca scholarship. Yeah, scholarship. yeah, yeah, a scholarship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And our principal, our principal is the one who does the the whole process. Uh, she only right. asks to us, "Do you want to keep going?" We say yes, and, and then she makes the whole papers. Oh wow, wow, that's a good principle because I understand it's a lot of work, a lot of papers. I don't know, Marcela, do you yeah, have any? Spoiled. It is a lot of work. <laughs> I, yeah, really, you are. Really, you are. I, I at least from from what I've heard from other people. I don't know if anybody else can has any information to help Jose or any information as far as things. I don't know. I I had to like do a lot of paperwork and wait and wait to get into the platform like two weeks after we start the process. Because I, I didn't know how, how it works. Mm -hmm. Anybody else that has to fill out the paperwork that, that can tell Jose, do you have to do everything again or only some documents or only some information is needed? In my case, I just needed to fill up the, the same documents to submit to be, bar, to be part of this this is scholarship, right? Just uh, scanning the do, do and meet and fill up the same document. 
But I imagine, I imagine they will contact you, right? I mean, like they did before. Yeah. Okay, because I, I don't know who to contact or what number to call. Okay, I, I can give you, or I don't know, there are in the maybe group can, chat. Yeah, maybe you can share, share on the group and uh, like that we can like, for, for us for us or for some of us that don't know how to, how you to do can, it. You can look for uh, Jason Bautista. Okay. okay. In the group I, I, chat. I have been in contact with him and he always helped me, helped me to, to find out everything or to fix in any an issue. So he may be able to, to help you. Okay. Jason Bautista, he's an admin. See? Okay, so I take a look in right, right now. Take a look in your phone. Do you see him? Do you see his phone number and his name? Mm -hmm. That's the uh -huh. that's the important. Let me see. I will have to find it. Let me look. This is it's gotta be here in this group. Okay, hang on. Maybe. Yes. Hang on. I'll give you. I took a screenshot. I'll put it into the chat. Okay. That way you. I'm trying to find it now and it's not. Uh, I don't see. Uh, what's his name? Jason Bautista. Do you see? I, 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 ha just, I, I, I have I, a Jonathan. Okay. I, yeah. I will. I'm... Below Elena. Yeah. I just put it into the chat in, in the image also, just in case. Okay, I got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Teacher, okay. you are Edwin, right? That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so, so I'm looking, this guy is, uh, what's his name? Jason Bautista. He's right there. It's in the picture. It's in the picture. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I had a picture. In the WhatsApp check. Just oh, yeah, 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 I see, but uh, I thought it was like a picture. Uh, his oh, him. Oh, no, no, yeah, no. Him. Oh, no, 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 just, no, just the image. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I got okay. it. Okay, all right, good. Thank you, thank yeah. you guys. Uh, uh, Jose, uh, yes. in this moment, write him, write him, uh, send him a WhatsApp yep. right now. That way, he it's already processing. That way, tomorrow, I can say, hey, um, Jose wrote to you the, yesterday. Uh, can you get back to him? Okay, okay. Yes. So write to him, write to him today because he pro he's not going to get back to you today. But no, it, no. But at least tomorrow I can say, hey, um, my student Jose wrote to you and he has an issue. Have you seen his message? And 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 it's it technically it, it it just sounds better. It just sounds better like oh yesterday he wrote you then you know he wrote you today and did you check today? It's kind of like you know it's it's a little bit different. Yeah. Or on on the other hand, you can. Call him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both of them work. So whichever one, if, if you can call him, that's great. Then you'll get him directly. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, we'll go ahead and continue. Um, I know several of you have mentioned that you're wrapping up. You're just about done. And some of you have completely finished. Uh, yes. I, if you notice in the chat, we, uh, for those of you that had what's up for some issues, um, always put into the chat because that's where we can answer. Like today, there is a question about one of the exercises and it's a, it's a mistake from the platform because they give you, um, what was it? Oh, I can't even remember something. Transportation, transportation. Um, yeah, transportation okay. system. System, that's it. Thank you very much, Angela. Transportation system and the correct answer is only system. I don't remember in where it where it is uh, or which exercise it was but i'm i think it's in the chat so uh, you can always check there what exercise 4.5 i think it was or something like that does anybody have any uh questions any difficulty with the platform any parts of the platform where they're not able to advance or have fallen behind or their grades are not where they think and they don't know why in my case, I finished everything, but I still have like um, in the part, I think in the section three, mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly, but I, I have a, a doubt to how to use the, 
the noun defining and the defining. I mean, when I did the, the section three, I thought that I knew how to do it, but I have, I don't know. Please. Okay. Okay. No problem, Angela. All right. So uh, Angela is asking about defining and non-defining clauses. And the main idea is just think about it as an adjective. Okay. Um, you know, when an adjective would just be a description like um, the red coat. Okay. The red coat is nice. But if I don't use the word red, the coat is nice. Okay. It's still a complete sentence. So the non-defining is like the word red. It is extra information, okay? We use that information to give more description, to give more information, okay? If I don't have it, I still have a complete sentence. The code is nice, mm -hmm. right? Now, the difference is a defining clause is like the second part, okay? The red code, the defining clause is like the part is nice. It's the part where it tells us specifically what we're trying to give. If you don't have it, it's not a complete sentence. So the defining is like the, the end of the sentence or the second part where we need it. We need it because we need to have that information to make a complete sentence. And non-defining is like an adjective. It's just extra, just giving more information. You can have the, if you remember like the words, like the beautiful new red jacket, it's those extra words. Yeah, they sound nice. Yeah, it's good to have them. It makes it, the sentence a little bit better and you're speaking a little bit nicer. But if you don't put them, it's no problem. It doesn't change. But in the defining, ah, there, yes. Because if you don't have the action, you don't have the specific description, then you don't understand. It's like when people speak in Spanish and they say, oh, the, the, uh, the avocado tree, the green tree. Uh-huh, what, 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 what happened with the green tree? What happened with the avocado tree? Oh, the green tree, uh, oh. by your, the green tree by your house. Uh-huh, by my house what? Oh, the green tree by your house was cut. Ah, then you need to, that was cut is important because there are a lot of trees by your house, but there's only one tree that was cut. That's the defining. The defining is that one, that, that one piece of information that makes it so that you can understand in the context exactly what you're talking about. Does that help you, Angie? Yeah, I mean, I I know the difference, but at the time that I needed to to do the exercises, mm -hmm. I I don't know why the why why just wait a minute. I I'm, I'm looking for it actually. Go ahead. <laughs> I, may, mm -hmm. I don't know, like, why is that order, or why did I need to use? that or not which ah uh, okay okay maybe for okay i got you all right so in the case the difference between that or which which are normally for options or for choices you can think of it like that okay and that okay. is it and that is general that can be used uh for people or things many times they try to use who for people and that for things but the reality, the grammar says that you can use that for both, for both people and things. That for both people and things. Correct. Okay. I like, for example, you can say, I like people that know how to cook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's correct, grammatically, but they, if I use who, I like people who can cook. It's correct grammatically also, mm -hmm. okay? So m maybe in that part where you used it, uh, maybe it was just a question of which one they had put in for you to use who or that, or which, I don't, I don't remember. But the, the who can only be used in that case for people, but that I can use it for, like, for that situation of a person or um, the books that I read last year are very good, but I cannot replace that in that situation with who. I cannot say the books who I read last year are very good. You can see, so you can see that that can be used in both situations. When I talk about people, 
the people that that cook or when I talk about things, the books that I read. In both situations are grammatically correct. Who, on the other hand, is only for people, okay? In which are for choices or selections, where for places, and in each one, when for time and things like that, okay? Okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Anybody else, any other questions or anything from the platform? Okay. Mm, I, I hear. Yeah. Okay. So I can say Bulgaria is a small country that that is cheap to travel in by bus. Repeat one more time, Elias. We we're, we're I think we lost you there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bul Bulgaria is a big country. That is cheap to travel to travel in bus. Can anybody hear Elias or is it just me that, that he's coming in and out? He's he's a little cut. No, I can hear him. Okay, I okay. Ellis, if if you, if you want, try to write it into the chat. That way, we can we can check for you. Because it, your your voice is coming in and and, and out and, and I'm not sure. Okay. While er, while Elias is is writing that in in the chat, um, anybody else? Any other questions? Yes, I got a question, teacher. Okay. I want to know, um, I think I know the, the meaning of the phrase I'll burn out, but mm -hmm. I, have, I have a problem understanding, understand, understanding that word when I was making the exam. Okay, for in, in the part, in which part of the exam are you talking about? Uh, I think in, in the section in complete sentences, I think. Yes, uh, part two. Combined uh, sentences. Yes, complete sentences. Letter C, part two. Letter C, okay, complete sentences, okay. Yes. Complete this sentences. is the final test. Okay, uh, all right. And it's just... Uh, Read the sentences, then complete the sentences with the following phrasal verbs. Okay? Yes, it's number six. It's hard not to when you're working late every night. Burn out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but could you please explain me uh, in the meaning of this phrase of uh, in this specific sentence. Oh, okay. I got you. I apologize. I didn't understand clearly. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So burnout means when you no longer have energy, you no longer have desire or your body cannot continue. This is burnout. So okay. I can say, Oscar, if you are working two jobs, you are going to burn yourself out. That means you are going to get to the point where you cannot continue. You are too tired or, you know, you don't have enough energy. Mm -hmm. But do you know that? I know. <laughs> I know. This is in Salvador. If you don't have two jobs, you are Poma. Or three. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Thank you so much, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Elias. I, I, I'm not sure, but I think I, I, I heard because I remember I heard you say Bulgaria. Um, is, I think it's the one in the chat. It, it's the, 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 your question was answered in the chat um, uh, by Jose, yes. Jose Calderon, and he put in, and Eric, Eric Peraza answered it. And this was uh, the question from Friday. I think that's it. Bulgaria is a small country. Yeah, I think this is, is, uh -huh. 
I think this is Elias. I think this is your question. Check Friday at 11 in the morning. Friday at 11 a.m. in the WhatsApp, and I, that's where uh, Jose Calderon answered. Or, sorry, that's where uh, uh, Eric answered, and also uh, Jose was asking the same question. Mm -hmm. Hi, Coach. I have been told that today is the last day, so I might not be with the group on Monday. Today is the last day for what, Jose? For, for you? Sending the, yeah, for sending the <clears throat> neat Dewey and uh, the other paper. But you can do it by picture. You can send a picture right now if you're Dewey. No, your, they, they need it to be scanned. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and you can do it. You can do it over the phone. That's how I did it last time. But the form, I guess, the form that uh, they you you receive, I cannot do it uh, because my phone will, won't allow me to download it to sign it by hand. So I don't know. Oh, I got. Uh, try to make um, a virtual uh, firm signed. Sorry. Okay, what I, I just got a message from him saying that I have to like download the form, but the form I don't have it. I will ask him right now and see if we can send the form again. And I will like, does anybody um, have Does anybody have the form? Can take a screenshot and send it to I, me. I will send it to the group chat. There you go, Jose. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, but then I still have to like print it, but I don't have a printer. I have to. No, it, it's more. not necessary. In my case, I fill up, I fill in or fill up. There's fill up. a fill up. Uh -huh. fill up. Can you sign my name? <laughs> no, I mean you can sign no, in a my, in a my, paper, my then take work. a picture, uh -huh. then uh, download, um, yeah, then send to I don't know in a Gmail or in WhatsApp, and then that picture with uh, your sign, download, then cut it and put it in the in the document. Oh, okay. Take a picture. That's all. Take I did a picture. Of yes, I okay. did it. Okay, so take a okay, like le take me sign. through it. Take a piece take, of paper. Take, take a take a piece of paper. Sign it. Take a picture, and then and and then uh, th this send it to yourself. Send it to yourself, and, and cut then it. download. Mm -hmm. And then use an I don't know a tool to cut. To cut that, to cut can, the can I sign? Can I sign? Can I sign? And anyone can give me a favor to to paste it on the on that thing because I don't know how. I'm not a tech guy. Uh, I, don't I, know. I can do it. If yeah. you sign, just sign it. Take a pic, mm -hmm. take a piece of paper. Make sure you have good light. Sign your name, and then you, she can send it. I w yeah, I will send it to the to the chat. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Because well, today is the last day. I, I just they just told me that today is my last day. Wow. Okay. All right. Imagine if you didn't ask today, if you were gonna ask tomorrow. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah. I thought I thought we were just gonna you know roll you know like uh, continue like this. I didn't know yeah. that I have I have to do that process all over again. Yeah. Every 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 module you need to to register again because some people for their jobs they quit other people uh don't like to schedule it's too difficult other people for whatever reasons they can't continue so it, they need to make sure that everybody's going to continue for each module okay. mm -hmm. but don't worry we can there's always a solution for everything especially when we work in a team so that's okay right i hope so okay okay anybody else and any other issues? All right then, okay. All right then, now we can go ahead and go to our, uh, oh, no, sorry, not to our groups. We're gonna go back to, we have a, a discussion. Just one sec. Let me, okay, so. And last week we were finishing up with the clauses of stating reason and conditions, which were unless, even if, as long as. Um, are all of these okay? Is there anybody that's not clear what's the difference or where you should be using one or the other?
Remember we had considering um, only if or just. So if everybody's quiet, I assume that means everybody on everybody's okay with those, right? With exactly with which part are we? No, uh, I'm okay, okay, Kat. Uh, uh, 4.6, 4.6 clauses stating reason and conditions. This is the, the one that we finished up with last week. Okay. This is the one where we say, I sometimes I lie awake at night even if I'm really tired or considering that or as long as that part is okay. My laptop is taking its time. Okay, no problem. No problem. No rush. Yeah, no rush. You go ahead and, and go through that and make sure. And you know, if, if you have a question or anything, even when we go ahead and continue the moment and you just let us know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are going to watch the video? No, no, because those, the, the videos that are there, we already saw the video for the 4.6. Um, and we had the screenshot, it's in the WhatsApp group from, uh -huh. from last week. And the next one is just you doing the knowledge check, which was 4.7 and the same for the other. Uh -huh. And the other mm -hmm. one, 4.8 is, is a listening exercise. And the last part, the 4.9 is the reading exercise. Uh -huh. okay. okay. So we're going to go to the to sleep or not to sleep, okay? And that's the one we're going to be taking a look at. And what do you do? We're going to take a, a moment. And I think it's it's a little, it looks like a little hard to read. I'm going to try to see if I can, even if I can take a couple pictures, maybe through <laughs> what's up to make it easier to read. But Coach, I already sent my signature to the group. Okay. Angela, mm -hmm. and we'll see. Angela will try to, to help you out. Okay. I, yep. will, um, I will take a picture of my document right now and send it to... to In the group chat, if you want yeah, to. Yeah, not to the other. Uh, to, I will send that directly to the... Jason. Yeah, the guy. <laughs> I don't know his name. I no, forgot. no, no. I, 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 well, yeah, you can send it, but I recommend that you send everything together. That way it doesn't get lost. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just wait for the. Yeah. Document. Because if you're sending, if you're sending one part and then sending another and then another message, sometimes you won't realize it. But if you send everything together and then you just confirm, I sent all Co the paperwork. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about the call center Indigo? Is it all right? Yeah, I know. I know Indigo. Why are you gonna? You're applying there. See, I, 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 I kind of want to go. Yeah. Well, the salary is good. I know that much. I know they have a sorry, couple. Go ahead, Angela. Sorry, sorry to enjoy, but can you take a picture again, please? Oh, for, for the okay. More light. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's you cannot see it, or are you talking about? It's kind coach? of blurry. Um, my picture. My picture is blurry. Yep, kind of. <laughs> okay, okay, I will take another. And send me your document. My document. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so Jose, is that Jose? Is that your signature or or your name? Is or is that how you sign your name? That's. Uh, when I got here, Coach, I signed my uh, uh, Dewey. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay. When I, arrived, when I arrived from the United States, I didn't know you can, like, sign, and now I have to. They Always say that I, have to, that I have to sign the same way the document is signed, so I didn't know. Yeah. That's, that's how I sign my, my Dewey. When you, when you change your Dewey, the next time that you change your Dewey, you can change your yeah, signature. I change my signature, correct. Yeah. yeah. Just so you know. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I, Cause when you arrive here, arrive back here. I mean, everything. Cause I, can you believe I still don't know what the weather is? <laughs> it's going to be over? rainy. It's going to be a hurricane in two days. Oh, don't tell me that, <laughs> coach. I don't want to be here. I want to go. There you go. All right, okay. guys. We're gonna go ahead while Jose and Angela uh, 
try to fix those things. We're going to make a few groups. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to get together with our partners. And what we want to do is we want to, we're finishing up. So we're making sure that everybody's clear. Um, we're going to be, I put into the WhatsApp, the reading. Um, if you cannot see the reading, it's also the, the reading on 4.9. So we're going to go ahead, read it, and discuss it, and give your opinions on it, okay? What do you think about this idea uh, um, of the topic of to sleep or not to sleep? So with your partners, we're going to read the document, discuss the document, make sure the vocabulary is okay, and then just give us give your own personal opinion on it. Okay. But Tell me, Angie. No, just Jose, don't, don't, don't go. Uh, I think it, there, I sent it already. Because the phone is like, I don't know, it's a little bit, the, the, the stream will get dark, too dark. But I already sent it. Okay, let me see. And now we'll send you my documents. Okay, it's better. There you go. All right, guys, let's make these groups. Okay. Where is the thing for going to the group? I don't find it. I'm lost. <laughs> It's so cool. I don't know. Are you on the phone or are you on the computer? On the phone. On the phone. Then you have to go to the part where there's three little buttons and it says uh, it's like more or mass if you mm -hmm. have. And then there should be uh -huh. one. It should be a, an invitation to go to the group and just hit accept. Uh -huh. It's not the invitation. It's going to say that unplug the audio chat, raise your hand and configuration of the meeting. I can try one more time. So you didn't invite me. Now I know. Mm -hmm. No, you are. Mm -hmm. You are with Angela, and Angela's waiting for you. I see. And yeah. I don't see the invitation. How can I go? I don't know. Maybe you you ignored it, and then that's oh, okay. why I'm now gonna I send you to. I'll again. send you to a different group. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Jose. Yes. Uh, did you accept the invitation? Uh, no, because I, I, I'm trying to take the photo. Yeah, but I put you in the same group with Angela. Okay, uh, I, I don't see the invitation, Coach. Can you like, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Because I, I got out of the, I got. Okay. Claudia, you okay? No, teacher. What happened, Claudia? No invitation? No. No, you didn't get it. I'll send you another one. Did you receive the invitation? No, no. Let me Hi. check. Angela, Jose just went to the group. He was waiting for you. Okay. No, I, I was alone and I thought that there was no one with me, so I yes, left it. Right and Claudia, I, Claudia's trying to get into the group. She's having a, a little technical problem, but she's you're one of your partners. Okay, okay. Okay, no. there. Claudia went to the group. Okay. Okay. Can you send me the invitation again, please? Wait, wait, wait. Um, hang on. Let me try <laughs> one more time. Okay. I don't have any invitation. No? No. <laughs> okay, I just sent it. Hang on. Let me try. What about now, Angie? Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I sent you a uh, try again. Let's see. I'll change. I'll send you to a different group. Maybe if we, I don't know, get back Jose and the, the other lady. <laughs> She's waiting for you in the group. <laughs> oh so now she, she's going to come back. She's going to come back and say, I was waiting for my partners and my partners never came to the group. 
It's the same as Jose. There you go. You see? <laughs> okay. Okay. So stay here, okay. and then the two okay. of you can just do it from here. Okay. Okay. All right. Meanwhile, I'm going to to do this. Okay. Okay, Jose, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, did you? Without the help of an alarm clock. That's your sleep need. Meanwhile, other scientists and pharmaceutical researchers are searching for new ways to keep us awake. Uh, con continue. Or... Um, Oksana? If you want, I continue. Okay. Meanwhile. Okay, um, me oh, okay. You, you, you <laughs> I should didn't continue. get it. No, no. You, you first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Sorry. Meanwhile, other scientists and pharmaceuticals researchers are searching for new ways to keep us awake longer. Some are developing chemicals that are safer and more powerful than caffeine, the chemical found in coffee and tea. One experimental drug CX7. It's even worse for people who work uh, the night shift. They sleep an average of just five hours. In the platform, they are going to ask you this, this thing. The first uh -huh. question will be is, it is how much does an average American sleep? And you get uh, I How think much? it's, it's 6.9. 6 6.9 hours. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. On the other hand, this could lead to a wall where we work longer and longer hours with less and less sleep. On the other hand, if we need less sleep, we will have more free time to travel, read, volunteer, and spend time with family. So to sleep or not to sleep, that uh, may soon be the question. Hmm. That is Shakespeare, right? Be or yes. not to be. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> That's the question. Like, uh -huh. uh, who am I? Am I cutting or not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see vocabulary that we don't know. Uh, after all this. The correct pronunciation is satellite. Oh, Hi, coach. Huh? Uh, I don't think both can hear us. You're on mute, Mr. Ezri. Yep. Hey, guys. You guys okay? Hi. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Okay. I just, uh, yeah, I just got the the document she sent me. Great. Mr. Yeah, Angela. Why was Mr. Bautista here? <laughs> That's one of his jobs. Sometimes he pops in, uh, him or Elena or um, the other person. They they make sure that the 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 there are no technical problems, that the electricity is still going, that uh, the classes are being recorded. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it was awkward. <laughs> 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 because I, I was saying say hello and. Ah, uh, it's. <laughs> It's probably, it, he, he pops, they usually pop in once uh, every class, usually at the beginning. It's a, he's a little late. Yeah. So they, probably because everybody's in the class, you don't realize it. But he, if you watch the video, almost always by 8, 10, 8, 15, one of the, mm -hmm. one of the people from Inglés Corporativo come mm -hmm. in to make sure that everything is okay. But probably what happened is that somebody else had a problem and that's why he's late coming to my class. Oh, okay. They Coach, usually... mm -hmm. what's up, Jose? Can you tell me about a little bit about Indigo? Yeah, they, Indigo. they're a call center that's located um, near Rondel Masferrer. Okay, okay, okay. 
So they're pretty centrical. Um, maybe there's no buses that go directly to them, but you only have to walk a few blocks, so it's not a big deal. Um, mm -hmm. it, I understand they are one of the call centers that pays the most in really? sales, in sales, for sales accounts. Um, the minimum salary, if I remember correctly, it's about six hundred dollars a month. Yes. About full time. Full time. Okay. Yes. Six hundred bucks a month plus um, unlimited commissions. And when I talk mm -hmm. about unlimited commissions, I I, um, I understand that some people are making eight hundred dollars uh, to a thousand dollars only on commissions. Okay, that's great. Uh, so that would be like fourteen hundred dollars. No, let's see. No, twelve hundred dollars. If you make eight hundred plus six hundred, yeah, no, fourteen hundred. Yeah, fourteen hundred dollars. So of course it's it's sales. So you know, there you have good months, you have bad months. Um, you know, you yeah. just follow the script and that's it. Um, that they have a couple of different accounts. Um, Indigo is not just a provider, just like all account centers. They they have. Um, they have different ones. They have one for, uh, you know, the Faux Salud, the one for the government right now. They have the, the where people call, the people that have uh, um, COVID, and they call okay. to check to check uh, what to do or the symptoms or the results. They also have that account. Um, okay. That one's in Spanish. Coach, and do you know? Do which you know one? Any? The, the COVID, the one with... Um, uh, uh, with Minsal, Ministerio de Salud, that's the one that's in Spanish, and they are the ones who uh, they, they receive the calls for when people check. Oh, how's my COVID test? Customer service? Oh, no, 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 because you know they they're. Uh, what do I do? I, I I think I have COVID, or or where can I get the test, or what are the results, oh. or things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Coach, yeah. do you, do you have anybody who can pull me in? What you want? You want to apply, Jose? Definitely, I do. All right. Yeah. No problem. I thought you. Were, I thought you were gonna do the the, um, the I, teaching. I, mm -hmm. I, well, they haven't called. <laughs> okay. They haven't. They haven't called me, and um, cause I I'm I'm taking an electrical license right now. I'm, yeah, I'm, I remember that you said that. That's why you couldn't do uh, you couldn't do any call center work. Yeah. Uh. I I still gotta do that until December twelfth is my exam, my final exam. Okay. But I, I got to pretty much everything, you know, down, I guess. Mm. I just got to study a little bit and, you know, it just. Okay. Few, and you, probably, details. you probably should yeah. apply probably about December 11th, December 12th, right before because. In Indigo. No. Yeah. Because in Indigo, they're fast. Like if, oh. you, if you apply now and they're starting the training, you'll start on Monday. Okay. Really? Yeah. That's Yeah. So that's why I say it's don't that you don't want to lose your opportunity. You don't want to apply. And then they say, okay, can you begin on Monday? And you say, no, well, you know, I have this activity. I can begin in December. Uh, and, and then at December 12th is very late but for see, the training. And, and then they're gonna my, be, mm -hmm. my exam is on Monday on, on Sundays. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if uh, it's only one Sunday. I don't know if maybe they allow me to. Yeah. I don't think well, on Sunday. I no, but you're right. I think you're right. You know, it's it's, it's better to start fresh and yeah, because if I you're wanna... if you're if you're starting a job and you're already asking for permissions, it's you know it's it's yeah, it's, you're right. You're yeah. right. But but uh, what 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 do they have? They have a speaking accounts. They have chat accounts. And what what else do they have? Uh, uh, they have a couple of accounts. That's why I said it. Uh, they have sales is the biggest one, and then they have, um, you know, like the one that I mentioned, for the um, the Ministry of Health. That but that's in Spanish. It doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. So the salary isn't is not six hundred because it's a Spanish account. But yeah. They, but they still pay pretty well. And then they have the um, the tax account. They have a, a one that's for taxes for um, yes for turbo taxes or something like that for the U.S. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I have a question. In that consultant, they have a full uh, part-time schedule. Yeah, they they do, they do have part-time actually, Angela. They do have part-time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have part-time and full-time. Are you ready to apply, Angela? Actually, uh, I apply in teleperformance. <laughs> oh, teleperformance is really easy to get in. I actually pass all three uh, interviews. Really? Yes. And they told me that I was gonna uh, I was gonna get a call. I was gonna uh, they were gonna contact me, but they never did. 
So and they're really. Oh, no. Yeah, they contact me. I mean, they. I, well, I I wasn't expecting the call. Then I I get I got one call and they told me, do you still need a job? And I said, yeah, I need a job. <laughs> so they told me, okay, so you need to download this app. It's Bersant. I don't know. It's just Bersant where where I log in with a special. Um, Everybody's gonna come back in a moment just to let you know. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, perfect. So, but uh, to to summarize, I I got the job, but with with the stuff with my with the university, I didn't have enough time, so I need to withdraw the opportunity. Oh my God, that's so sad. Uh, because I mean, if there was the option that I could choose a, a part time. I should, I mean, obviously I will take that opportunity, but they only offer full time, mm. but I don't have the, the enough time to, to give like, the, quali the quality they, they, they want. I'm sorry for that, Angela. No, no, <laughs> don't worry. Yeah. What, what, what do you study in, in, in the university? Chemical engineering. Oh, okay. That's good. Kind of. <laughs> It's, it's difficult, huh? <laughs> it's difficult. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, are there any questions um, in the reading? Any words, phrases, sh things you're not sure about? Yes. Um, Roxana, Oscar, and I was wondering about the meaning of the word breakout. No, no it wasn't breakout. It was like, uh, I... I forget that word. It was breakthrough. Okay. Breakthrough. Yes. Like with right now with the COVID, uh, with the pandemic, they they are hoping for a breakthrough with the vaccine. The breakthrough is like not exactly a miracle, but the idea is that it it's something that allows them to continue or to progress. Something that allows them to do something bigger. What well, what would be a synonym? Uh, for breakthrough, mm -hmm. um, it's not exactly the same, but a synonym would be something like an advancement. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that that word is it can be used on on the news, right, on the TV. It's usually a a a, a breakthrough is usually like something that has occurred or happened that allows for science to advance, or something that's going to change. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay. Like, no, mm -hmm. like the uh, the touch screens or the the iPhone was a breakthrough in technology. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're Thanks. welcome. So You're long. Long. Mm -hmm. Um. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, Miriam. I just put in the in the chat a video that we used in the in the school to make a. Our virtual furniture. Oh. And it was, so it was very useful for us. I hope it, it, it will be useful for you. Um, because remember that everything is going to be virtual from now on. So uh, it's it's a good idea to have it, the, the signature uh, virtual. Yeah, yeah. I, I, if I remember correctly, Miriam, thank you for mentioning that. I think this year was the first year it Salvador created the law for virtual signatures because before it was illegal, but now it's, it's legal to have a virtual signature. So we'll wait for, I think Jose got kicked out, but we'll wait for Jose to come back and we'll remind him um, because he's the one who needed it right now <laughs> and something happened with his internet. So <laughs> we'll thank you, him. Miriam. Thank you. Uh huh. You're welcome. Okay. Very interesting. All right, any other words um, besides breakthrough or anything else? No? Okay. That's great. Let's talk. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, we're, we're advancing, we're doing good, everybody's having a great time. So tell me guys, what's going on? What's your, we, I, I know you guys expected next week uh, to have vacation, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> we are going to begin class immediately on Monday. 
And I think it has to do with the fact that the course is only four weeks. And if they don't begin on Monday, they will not finish before Christmas. And that was a, an issue uh, to, for the dates, for, for the closing, for Insaforp and all of the things. So I think that's why it's necessary for us to go quickly. That's probably why, Jose, mm -hmm. because normally if you miss the date or if you're one day later, they, they accept it. They accept it the next day or they accept the documents. So we're gonna, So, what are you guys planning on doing? What, do you get, what are we going to come up for? Is good and news. Are you going to be our teacher again? I understand that, yes, because they don't have time to make changes, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> okay. I mean, that, for me, yeah, it's that is good. That's a good news. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. I like having this group. This group is great. It's the first time. Um, I think I told you guys, this is the first time I've had the group two times in a row. So, for me, it's going to be, wow, if they give, you know, if we continue again, it's going to be like, oh, my God, three times. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. And do you teach English in another institutes or academies? I do. I actually do. I actually teach English. I don't normally teach English for such a large groups. I usually have uh, very limited groups. I work with NGOs. I, I work with USAID um, oh, and cool. interpretation, translations. I work with sometimes with um, uh, Garcia Flamenco. I do documents for them. I work for um, an NGO that's called Oxfam. And they are um, doing women's rights, water rights, uh, uh, sanitation. They have different programs around the country that you, maybe you've heard of. Um, they have one that's called for saving for change or for water or things like that. So I do do quite a bit of work through other organizations. Wow. Um, I also work for a school such as the a American, well, the British school now. Uh, which is Academia Britannica Cuscacleca in mm. Santa Tecla or yes. Merliot, depending on how you look at it. Um, I, I work for them as well. I've worked for them for quite a few years, but only the same thing. I only work for them two hours a day, and then I work for InSupport for two hours a day, and then I usually have um, two or three hours of uh, other classes. Um, I also work with several pilots. I actually was a an instructor for an English aviation instructor. So I usually teach English for pilots. Right now I have pilots from the Air Force. They're going to go, they're going to be going to Maui in, wow. uh -huh, which is a, a West or a African country, West African country. Um, they're leaving in January, I think. Um, so I'm getting them ready because there they need to speak English with uh, air traffic control. So. Yeah, my day is pretty. To Mali. Yes. Mm -hmm. To Ma really? Mali? Yeah. Mali. I think that's. Oh. Yeah, because they, I've had a couple of them go to different countries. Um, I think this group is going to Mali. I've had another. Um, they went to Qatar. Um, and he's actually, when my ex student is continuing to work. Yeah, Mali. Mali, the, my, the one they went to Qatar, liked it and continues to work for Qatar. So. Um, the ones that are going to Mali, they just want to go for one year um, to make some money and then, you know, return. And I had a couple others. They went to the Middle East, um, to Dubai. Dubai um, actually has a lot of Salvadorians working there, in case you guys didn't know. Um, we actually have, you're not going to believe it, but in Dubai, I know we have a couple hundred Salvadorians working in Dubai. How can we go there, coach? <laughs> you, you actually... Uh, actually, the Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores put a tweet yesterday telling you they're working on the one for Qatar. I think uh, he put a, a tweet yesterday of the new uh, jobs that are going to be available for Salvadorians there. Okay, so you have to have a specific skill to be able to go there? They have the skill of military. They're all of the ones that are there right now for in, in Qatar are, well, not all of them, I lied. Um, most of them are, uh, are are militaries, but not all of them. Um, okay. That, uh, also, my brother is in Mali, and he's a military. Yeah. He's he's coming back on January when the the other ones are they are going to switch. Yeah, that's the ones that I'm training are the ones that are going to go. Oh, nice! And the the ones before. 
Um, some of the times, yes, sometimes no, because it has to do with uh, who, because I don't work for the, I don't work for military. I work for the, for the individual. So if they need English, oh. for, if they need English for their job, they call me and I give them classes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So Thanks. I thought that you, that you knew my sis, my, my brother. No, no, no. Uh, probably not. Like I said, is he a pilot, Miriam? Yes. Yes, he is, he is a pilot. Well, he's maybe, flamenco. Maybe, uh, okay. Okay. I was going to say, maybe I know him. Maybe he, he studied at one of the schools where I worked at, because I also worked at an aviation school. I, um, SEA, Centro de Entrenamiento Avionático. I also used to teach there English. Maybe you know him. Is that where he studied? I don't know, but he studied <laughs> English. He studied English there, so maybe. Ah, if he studied English there, then yeah, I was the only mm -hmm. teacher. I was the only instructor for, for aviation. He probably knows me. Her name is Cesar Flamenco. Cesar Flamenco. I don't remember that name, but it's been a couple years, so. Maybe. It looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe so. But yeah, definitely. There's, I mean, just like you guys, I imagine you guys have a lot of activities and, and activities. So, so do I. Plus, I have um, other projects that I'm working on as well um, for the same thing for my job or, or for these projects. I'm writing a book. I'm writing a, a, an English book for teaching English for aviation. So that way I can have my own book. And, you know, just something extra, something nice to have. I'm also studying my degree online, which is I do homework after you or I do homework in the morning. Um, I should have, uh, I'm getting a business or uh, an associate's in business administration. I should be graduating next year, probably around May, depending on how the pandemic is, probably April or May. So. Congratulations. Little hey, by little. Little nice. by little. Mm -hmm. And from which, from which university? Um, it's an American university. It's a UOF. So, sorry, UOP. And so the, I, I chose an American university because for Latin America, um, they seem to like American universities. And if I decide to go back to the U.S. for whatever reason, I have my degree from there as well, which is valid, which is very, which is very crazy because my my degree from there is valid here and there but my degree if i got a degree here in el salvador they don't it's, it's not valid there so the option same thing, mm -hmm. same thing happens to me here coach because i have a, a, a gd yep and it's not valid here ah uh, but you should get I, a valid you, you should you should go to uh, the um what is it I, I know what you're talking about. I already yeah. tried. They asked me for the Apostille. final notes. Apost yeah. Yeah. And you, uh, you need the grade, the transcript. Yes. Uh, I, I, I already uh, asked for it, by, but uh, they, they haven't gone to the embassy mm -hmm. there to get it apostillado. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's just a matter of time, so. Coach, one more thing. Uh, can you ask, uh, I think, Jessica? It was the one that was trying to help me. Angela, the right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one that sent me the document. Yeah. My phone will not allow me to type the document. Like, I can, I can like, open the document, but it will not let me, like, I don't know why. It happens every time when, when uh, but it will not let me, like, Put any of my information, uh, like I will. Oh, Jose, why don't you, why don't you, because uh, we're going to finish up the class. Why don't you hang up and just give Angela a, a call on WhatsApp and just talk to her directly? I don't know her number. It's in the list mm -hmm. in the WhatsApp. Okay. Because uh, Angie, yeah. or just, or yeah. Angela can call you. Yeah. Yeah. Angela can, <laughs> yeah. Please. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you have a great night. And we're going to continue again tomorrow, guys. All right? Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.